Okay, everyone, strap in, because we're going to get a little silly today. I know we tend to be very serious on this channel. This is a music journalism outlet that exists purely for the sake of music criticism and music industry commentary. I don't come on camera here unless I have something deep, profound, and significant to say, and I am not here for the hullabaloo or the rigmarole. But I figured I would make a little bit of an exception because um, a rare occurrence happened today. As many of you know, I put out a lot of reviews, a lot of takes, a lot of opinions on a regular basis. While yes, I am talking about artists and their creative works, uh, the videos I make aren't necessarily produced to engage with the artist per se or communicate directly to them. It's more for uh, the audience of people who are currently watching this video right now, but uh, even though my content isn't directed, per se, at the artist, every once in a while, we do get a response. And look, I'm not beyond criticism, and I'm open to feedback. Sometimes that feedback takes the form of a tweet, uh, sometimes a cookie recipe, and in even rarer instances, uh, I am mentioned in the music of a particular artist, which is what has happened today. Uh, the band in question in this particular instance is the group Belushi Speedball, who I've talked about on the channel before, uh, whether or not you guys remember, they are a, a crossover thrash outfit, elements of metal, elements of hardcore punk blended together to serve as the foundation for songs that make references to SpongeBob, to anime. The band is very irreverent, very tongue in cheek. I mean, case in point, one of their latest singles is my favorite color is pizza. The band is very funny and very good at what they do. And from what I understand, uh, their latest single is in reference to me talking about and covering their music. This is what I've read in a recent piece on Metal Sucks. Uh, this is what I've been told directly by the band themselves over email. I have not previewed this track at all. And I figure whatever it is, it's got to be ridiculous. It's got to be preposterous. And if that background doesn't make this track worth reacting to on camera, uh, certainly the cover art does. I mean, this, uh, you know, Akira callback here is fire. Bro's carrying a caboose. All right, let's hear this track and see what it's got to offer. It's titled, This is the Peak. Off, off the bat, the guitars are sounding chunkier. They're sounding chunky. Okay, I'm kind of ready for some fire Belushi speedball production. Okay, let's let's hear it. Don't know why. Refused by the melon thighs. <laughs> They're up on the thigh lore. Can we put the thighs on camera? Is that legal on YouTube? Can we monetize if we show my thighs? That's a good rhyme. The funniest freaking thing is Oh, oof. okay. I'm sorry I used profanity in the review. I pushed it too far. I, I didn't realize you guys were a Christian comedy crossover thrash band. I will do better into the future to uh, not use such coarse language when referencing uh, the works of Belushi Speedball. This is officially the peak. Now that I'm on the album. <laughs> okay, guys, come on, don't don't sell yourselves so short. I'm going to take a bold stance and say that the ceiling for a group such as Belushi Speedball is damn near non-existent. I'm talking top 20 artists on Spotify potential. If I didn't hear that in you, if I didn't hear that in the music, I wouldn't have addressed it to begin with, because that's all I do. I only talk about artists who have top 20 Spotify potential. That's my one criteria. People say, Anthony, how do, how do you review things? How do you decide what to review? So much music out there. There's a lot of music, and that's easy. It's only artists who have the potential to rise to the top.
Okay, this is why I said you guys have top 20 potential. Start beefs with other artists to create tension, to draw attention, and you know, better yet, if it's a band or if it's a group that can't respond. Cause like really at this point, what are the Beatles gonna do? They're pretty much just gonna let you bully them. So good on Belushi Speedball for like, you know, scanning the playground of the current day music industry and picking out the weak links in the chain and just walking up and taking their lunch money. The fans, for scary. Uh, the fans asked for something scary. Also good. Also good. Respond to the fans. Be someone who acknowledges uh, the people who love the group. Again, this is why. This is why you guys have top 20 potential. You don't want to be one of these artists who like lives in an ivory tower and sort of like looks down on, on the little people. Be, be down to earth. Okay, I see what they're doing. They're being very self-aware with it, very self-aware. What's going on is that they're kind of underselling themselves and their potential. And what's going to eventually happen is Belushi Speedball, they're gonna set their expectations. They're gonna set that potential down here when they know it's actually up here. And then when they just blow past it, it's gonna be really like a, you know, almost like a WrestleMania type moment. Where all of a sudden they pop up out of nowhere, the theme song is playing, they're charging toward the ring, and before you know it, they've claimed the title. Smart move, smart strategy. I wish more bands thought this way. Okay, well, uh, there you go. That is this uh, new song from Belushi Speedball in, in a nutshell. Very cute of you guys to tell us that uh, uh, me reviewing your music is uh, the peak, but uh, I see right through it. I see your game. Game. This was very entertaining. Again, I promise not to swear anymore in uh, any content related to your music. And please don't respond to this.